Hello! So, it's been more than five months since I last posted a video, very sorry about that. And a lot has happened in those five months. I've grown old, AI has taken over the world, and I got a job. I am now officially a software developer making interactive experiences for different companies. And because of that, I've also been moving lately to a little apartment in Oslo. And finally, things are starting to calm down and I'm starting to settle in. So naturally, I've had to prioritize all of this before this little YouTube project. I hope you don't mind that. What I'm afraid you will mind though, is that I've come to realize that with a job, time is pretty limited and valuable. So if I want to keep up with my plans of making devlogs and games on the side, I'll have to do some restructuring. After the last devlog, I was working on Unity networking to make Tribes multiplayer, and the amount of work this took and the annoying workflow that Unity has for networked games made me realize that Tribes had become a way bigger scope than what I initially had in mind. And with the little time I have, it would take years to finish it, and to be honest, developing Tribes as a Unity mobile game has been very educational, but Tribes is not my dream game. So I've decided that this little game is simply not worth years of my time. Especially since I have had this dream game in mind for a very long time. And I was hoping to get that one started after my little mobile game experiment. So this is why I've now decided that from here on, I will focus my work on my dream game, Terra. An open world where you can use your creative mind to survive, explore and develop your own procedurally generated planet. This is a very big project, which also will take a lot of time, but this is time I will gladly spend on this project, as it has been in my mind for years. The game will have an art style I truly love, the low poly art style. It is beautiful, simple and has a lot of flexibility, and also it allows me to make most of the assets on my own. I've begun development of this game several times before, and between each time, I've gathered a lot of knowledge and become a more and more experienced game developer. And this game will also be developed in Unreal Engine, which I have a lot more experience in than Unity. So I'll be a lot more comfortable with my decisions and also have a better understanding of how the different systems works. And when it comes to tribes, I'm considering making the source code for it public so that any of you can have fun and play around with it. Maybe even make your own game. So let me know if this is something you would like. Cool, I really hope you are as ready as me to start this new devlog. I believe this is the right decision for me at this time. And I'm really looking forward to hearing all your cool ideas and recommendations. So let's get Terra started. In this first devlog, I will start work on a simple prototype of the game. There are a lot of different functionalities we need to get in place before we can work on any of the visuals. So a prototype is a good way to get that going. Okay, the focus for now will be getting a planet with a character that can walk around it. And this means that we'll have to do some changes to our default character. Because the default character movement in Unreal is of course made to work on a flat level. Because apparently most game developers are flat earthers for some reason. And make games where gravity is pointing straight down. This won't work for us though, as our character will just fall over the edge if it walks too far. We need gravity that pushes us towards the center of our planet. So that's also one of the challenges. I have tried doing this before, but it was a very annoying and long process changing the whole character movement to work for directional gravity. But lately they seem to have made this a lot easier by just giving us a gravity direction variable. And here we can see that the default direction is down, which makes sense. But there doesn't seem to be a way to change this gravity direction variable in Blueprints, Unreal's visual programming. But if I make my own character movement component in C++, I can set it from there. So I made my own character movement component class. And a little tip if you're doing some C++ programming in Unreal is to structure your code in modules so that you can easily reuse your code in other projects. So I made a simple module for gravity movement so I can do all my gravity code stuff in there in case I need it for another project in the future. And if you don't know anything about modules, there are a lot of great resources on how to make them. So I'll link one of them in the description for you if you're interested. In Rider, the IDE I'm using for Unreal C++, it's super simple to make a new module. You just go here and right click and make a new module. Call it whatever you want and put your code in there. Cool. So now that we have a custom character movement component class in C++, we can finally access the function to set our own new gravity direction. I set the gravity direction to always be pointing towards 0, 0, 0 in the center of the scene and placed a big sphere at this location in the new map to represent our planet. Then when I clicked play, my character just shot into space. We don't want that. 
I forgot that I should normalize this gravity direction, so after I did that, it seems to be pushing my character towards the sphere. Great! The rotation, however, is not aligned automatically towards the planet's surface, so I just end up in this infinite orbit around the planet when I jump off it. We of course would like our character to have its feet on the ground, no matter where on the planet's surface it is. I was struggling for a long time trying to figure out a way to modify the original character movement component to rotate the character, because one of the big benefits of using this character movement component is that it comes with replication, client prediction, rollbacking, and a lot of great features that makes your character movement work seamlessly in multiplayer. So I wanted a solution that keeps all this, of course. And after a lot of testing and a lot of very weird and annoying results, <laughs> these characters really seem to enjoy breakdancing. I finally figured out a way that seems to be working perfectly. It's kind of hacky, so it might come back to haunt me in the future, but for now, I'm fine with it. I had two requirements for my solution. The first one was that I don't want to write any of my own replication code, only rely on the replication that the character movement component does under the hood, so I keep all the nice prediction and rollback features. And then number two is that I wanted to use the control rotation to decide where my character is looking and moving towards. This is because the control rotation is also replicated automatically. So let me explain very briefly how my solution works. I basically make my own rotation logic by overriding the physics rotation function in the character movement component. I first make a new rotation for the character, telling it to have the gravity direction as the up vector and the forward vector as the forward vector. This rotation makes sure that our feet are pointing down towards the planet. Then here comes the hacky bit. <laughs> I made a new scene component in my character, which I attached all the other components to. But by keeping the original root, I basically now have two root components. The top one has the world rotation that angles the character towards the planet, and the other one is a local rotation for the rest of the components. So now all I need to do is to set the rotation of this new local rotation root to the control rotation, and as long as we do all this rotation logic in the physics rotate function, our rotation will be replicated to all the clients by the character movement component. There's one little catch with this solution though, and that is that the actor forward vector is no longer correct. The correct forward vector is the one from the local root. So as long as we always keep this in mind, I don't think we'll have any major issues. <laughs> Time will tell. So I'll have to change my movement code so that the character moves in the forward direction of our local root instead of the old, incorrect, actor forward vector. By making all these changes in our custom character movement component and to our movement code, it seems like our character can move freely on the planet surface now, so that is very good. And also if we test it with multiple players, we can see that the rotation is replicated correctly. Nice, so that's that out of the way finally. It took way much longer than I thought it would. But now we have planetary movement in our game. Amazing! I hope you understand why I'm choosing to prioritize this game over tribes. I see way more potential with this and I get a lot more joy out of making it, so it's definitely the right thing to do for me personally. And with that, I will end this first Terra devlog. I would love to read your opinions and ideas in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with Terra. And if you enjoyed, a like would bring a big smile to my face. Thanks a lot. Catch you later.